Hey guys, we're gonna do a little bit of a quick tutorial on taking photos uh, when we're preparing for your orthodontic uh, consultation uh, remotely. So uh, relatively simple, we're gonna use a pair of spoons uh, as well as uh, a camera. Really just the most important thing to note probably is the fact that for good photography, it's really all about lighting. And so the spoon can provide some retraction as well as some way for the light to get through. So let's get started with my willing volunteer, Miss Roya. So the first thing that we're gonna do is an image for us to be able to see Roya's front teeth as they come together. So we're gonna put one spoon on one side of the cheek, the other spoon on the other cheek. And Roya's gonna hold that for me. Good, she's gonna bite down. Hands out of the way, and first photo done. Second one is we're gonna take one of the spoons out, other one in. Now this one we're checking how Roya's bite on the right side comes together. So she's just pulling way out, getting her hand out of the way. <laughs> and it's really important that she bites how she normally would bite. So bite all the way down and picture. Now we're gonna switch sides. Gonna bite all the way down how she normally would. And remember, we're trying to get her molar way in the back. Turn, turn, turn. Thank you. And making sure that she's biting all the way. And the last two are how the upper and the lower teeth line up relative to each, each other. So Ray's gonna hold her upper lip out of the way. She's gonna look way up like she's looking at the ceiling. Open big, <laughs> big as you can. <laughs> Open really big, please. And snap, and then she's gonna pull her lower lips out of the way. Open as big as you can. Big, big, big. And we're making sure we get the molars. Way in the back. Awesome. That's really it. Now, if you're finding yourself having a hard time with getting good lighting in there, one little advanced tip might be just using a flashlight and a good old white plastic bag. And you just basically wrap the plastic bag around the flashlight, the light source, and you just need some space. And this basically serves as a diffuser. Now you'll need somebody else to hold that lighting there for you, but that'll make your pictures even better. So I hope this helps and uh, we'll see you guys virtually soon and hopefully in the office as well. Till next time.